All right. So um, basically for the steps um, to enter in more information to each steps, you're going to actually edit the resource. The resource is the click here portion of each one of the steps. Ooh. So when, when you're inside of your system um, and then you have, you know, depending on what you want to add to those steps, uh, you'll have to go into the resource and edit that resource, add more to the steps. Okay. Um, so depending on what you're looking to add, um, if you wanted to add, you know, how I have like A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it happens to be, um, you'll, you'll add that in. Well, it's going so slow right now. Don't feel bad. I'm going slow too. I'm on my Wi-Fi box. My uh, regular, uh, I got an argument with the cable company and they're not happy with me, but <laughs> not happy with yeah. them too. No, I pay for a hundred meg connection. I should never be slow. Uh, but anyways, uh, it, to add in the resource um, here, like I've done with A, B, C, D, E, this is where you add that all in. Right. I'm, I'm tracking that. So you, um, when you're adding that, I mean, you can use hyperlinks. You can just, you know, if you, add, if you just want steps for them to follow, um, information for them to use, it'll all be under this click here. So as you can see, everything that was in that resource is all right here. Okay. Um, all right, with like A. Mm -hmm. So A is linked to what's in your, uh, under your admin data, un under your, you know, under your profile picture. That's where I ran into my issue. So uh, the A for me is linked directly to the Open Jacket Network. They go straight in to sign up. So right. Everyone that signs up goes straight to OJN so they can get additional training. That is how I have it linked, and that's all just changing the hyperlink. So depending on what you customize in your step, you can change the hyperlink. So right. you can contact. I can change this to anything that I want. I can edit that link and have it go anywhere. Okay, right. I, I got mine going to Open Jacket, but where I ran into my issue on the next steps – Mm -hmm. Was if you go to your um, uh, where where your the little blue thing, the under high cam, yeah, that's that's where I. So you go scroll down, keep going. Well, that's weird. Oh yeah, the vet. This if you start messing with this, who is supposed to be here? This is, this is going to be when they actually complete the steps. The variable, it depends on how you set it up. So my step one variable is their username to Open Jacket Network. So it depends on what you set up. The variable is going to be a username. Oh, so the steps aren't related to that at all? No. So for each one of those one, two, three, four, five. Those are variables. If say you had different programs inserted in here, it right. would likely be their usernames. So the variable can be a username. It can be an ID number. It could be, you know, anything that goes in that will relate to that specific member. So for example, when one of my members puts in their username here, it changes the Open Jacket Network link both here and here to their username. Okay. It's a I variable did. that changes. Ah, uh, so that's why I say I'm not a system builder. And that's where I was like, it said, mine said cam, marks, cam marketing. I'm like, well, maybe I should just put, so for one, two, three, four, five, I should just put username. If you have something set up in those in those spaces, so for me, I don't have I don't have their usernames used in step three, four, or five. They don't use that piece. It's not built that way. So there's no variable for three, four, and five. So I don't necessarily need a variable. No, you don't. But I definitely don't want to put a link there. No, you do not want to put a link there. Okay, now that was that was my major. Those were my two major questions. That would I just couldn't overcome, and I was like, I don't get it. So, so in the fields, oh, I'm in LSN. I gotta get out of LSN. Man, you made it. You just made it easy. You know what I'm saying? I can go back to work. I don't like I said. My questions are always simple. Gotcha. But they're always the one thing that if you don't get it, nothing else will go right. 
True story. Yeah, if you did that wrong, it'll definitely mess up the rest of your system. Okay, so then, well, I get that. So that's whatever variable I want it to be. And that's only if they're joining that opportunity. Correct. Yeah, if you put, if you were to put an opportunity for that step and you wanted it to change as your members change, then you would use a variable. So a variable is just going to be something that's going to constantly change. So that can be like a, a, a username, an end of a link, something that's always going to be changing per each member. If it's going to be something that's static, then you don't have to worry about the variable. Like my step three, four, and five are all static, so there's no variable included in those steps. Nothing's going to change. <laughs> so, yeah, they just join and they're under you. Yep. So what if – oh, that's right, because I'm driving the system. Mm-hmm. I get it. <laughs> See, but that that's simple stuff, but – it's not that simple. It's so simple that if you miss it, the whole the whole thing's thrown to the – it defeats the whole purpose of what you're doing. Yes. Do you want – do you think it's better to put all opportunities under one or just open jacket under one? It, it, like, depends, it depends on the flow of your system. I mean, mine flows in that particular manner. Um, I guess my concept was get them to open jacket – they can see LS and I'm good with that. My step three was going to be training. Um, step four was business opportunities. And then five is just going to be bonus. Get this for free. Get that. Or, or mine will be traffic. So I get what my concept is going to be. I just didn't really, you know what I'm saying? With You have no steps under it. There's no guideline to go by. Yeah. It's like there's steps under it. There's steps under open jacket. But it's like I know where to put it. But you put A in, you say what you want to say, and then you hyperlink the end. You don't necessarily hyperlink the whole thing. Yes. So the mistake I made was I hyperlinked it, and then I hyperlinked it in the variable. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll definitely mess it up. So like I told you, my, I, I'm simple, and I, I get back to work. Um, uh, let's see. Blogger, that was my next question. All right. What questions do you have on Blogger? Um, I saw your long four-hour video, man. It killed me, but I watched the whole thing. I was like, I got to watch this. Um, I really have – I don't really have a blog set up, but I realized because I have Google Plus, I have Blogger. Mm -hmm. Did that help you to rate on Google faster? It does um, um, because you can turn on the setting that allows Google to go through your entire Blogger spot site so you don't have to index it you don't have to add a lot of meta tags you don't have to add a lot of a lot of information that will allow google to access every page of your website since it's already theirs all you have to do is turn on their crawler um, which is just in the settings so a lot of other places um, where you have to do where you add it to a search you have to add tags and and preferences to allow it to search so here are the custom robot tags this allows Google to search my site as much as they want. Right. So like in, um, uh, I want to say MLSP, it says don't turn this on until you're done uh, with your blog so Google doesn't search it. Yeah, I mean, but with mine, I already had content going into it. My my, Once I opened my blog, I'd already been writing content beforehand. So I dropped 27 posts my first day opening it up. I can't even figure out what to put on a post. <laughs> Whatever you want to write about. <laughs> um, so I can just type in blogger and mine will open one. Yeah, blogger, blogger, I say is the best blogging platform to go to because most people are going to be searching on Google anyways. So why not go to the place, you know, that already has where your, your audience is going to be. Okay. Yeah. It says Corey Burson blogs. So how do I how do I set it up? That's that's the other question. I have so not once a, once you are under this blog page, you'll just hit new blog and that starts that starts the page. Okay. Then then you name it, title it, choose a layout, and then just start writing. And it really it really doesn't matter what you write about. Um as long as you start building up your content, it's going to get searched. It's going to get brought up. It's, it's going to be out there on the internet. Uh, pretty much that's, that's the basis of it. The blog is just to kind of, uh, I would say 
it, it's, it's kind of really to to express yourself. It's online real estate. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, Without, you they can't find you. Exactly. Without a website, they can't find you. So I mean, it just it just it it, it really the content. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You could. You could literally just grab YouTube videos, post them on your blog, and then write something about that video. Like it could be, it could be anything. Wow. So doesn't matter what you call it. No, it doesn't really matter what you call it. I mean, I, I always suggest for my members in the MSI concept to title their blog after themselves, and then just write their opinions on things, write their write write things that they know about. You know, and people will connect with them genuinely, and then you can introduce them to everything else that you're, you know, you're working on. Because when the people connect to you, then they'll continue to follow you in whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, so, so I, I can call what you, I can call it my business. Yeah. So, because I mean, if you started a blog just on nutrition, and say you're with a nutrition company at the time, you know, and you keep blogging on that and blogging on that and say something happens with that company or you're no longer working with them or whatever, that just kind of ruins that blog. Now you can't, ch you can't change it up. You can't start writing about anything else because you've already got a viewership that's already going there for a certain type of information. But if you're writing the blog just as yourself, you know, this is my opinion on this. This is what I like about this. This is what I like about this. This is some information that I found out. You can go any direction you want instead of trying to keep your blog inside of one type, one niche, you know, so it's definitely, um, my opinion, better to write, you know, just as yourself about whatever you feel like writing on, because then you can always change it at any time. Okay. Um, so I could just call it Corey's blog or Corey CBKS consulting blog. Cause that's actually what I decided to do first was open a, a business before I actually jumped into the industry. So that would probably be the smartest thing to do. Yeah. And then just write on what you've learned on the industry, write what you've studied, write, you know, you know, videos that have you know helped you out. Anything you could literally go any direction that you want. Do I have to add a domain? No, you do not have to add a domain. Do it, should I? I'm that is up to you. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's really if you want to purchase one. I have a domain for mine, but I have it as a forwarding domain. I didn't add it to Blogger. I mean, I have three three other domains that I don't use. Yeah, you can definitely have have it as a forwarding. Um, I well, mean, really it wouldn't the, be going anywhere, so it doesn't matter. Then does it? Yeah, the really the domain all it does is kind of shorten the URL. So like mine is campcalendar.blogspot.com. I got the URL campcalendar.com to go to it so they don't have to type Blogspot anymore. So it, it literally just shortens it. But I can add that later. Yeah, you can add that way later. Okay. So it does, what, how do you know what layout to pick? It just depends on how you want it to look. I mean, the layout itself, you can choose any one of the designs. Um, you know, it just, if you want it left aligned, right aligned, centered, you know, it just depends on how you want your page to look cosmetically. Um, what did you just have up? That's what I want. I, like I said, I watched I have the right aligned. Okay. So I'm going to do right aligned. So is that just simple? Yeah. The, the, the designs in there are all just the background color scheme. Um, I believe I selected awesome something or other awesome dynamic or something like that. But the awesome. layout that you choose is, is the alignment. Oh, so you used awesome ink or dynamic views. I use yeah. awesome. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, and then and then once you've selected that base color scheme, you can either change the colors, um, which I've changed a couple of the colors on mine. You can either change the colors or you can um, change the alignment after you select a base theme. It says this blog address is not valid or nor supported. Which part did you get to? I put my name in the title, and then it says address. Did you actually start the blog? Did you when you went to new new blog? Yeah, and then it says blog list create a new blog. Then it asks you for a title. Then it asks you for an address. Yeah, that's gonna be at blogspot.com. So you're gonna put whatever you want. Blogspot.com, and it's gonna tell you if that's available. Corey's blogspot.com is available. All right. There you go. Okay. And then you actually create the blog. 
So these, these other ones are just templates. Um, so you can use any one of these templates. Once you've created the template, then once you get inside your blog, you'll actually be able to choose a layout. Oh, so if the dress is, man, that's terrible. All these are taken. We tried in capital. Oh, I get it. So I might as well use my own domain. I, I might as well use multipleleadsystem.com. You oh. could. Yeah, but let me see. Corey. So I got one more question for you while I'm playing with this. Um, I was going to go get a degree in marketing. You think it's going to be worthwhile since I'm going to stay in my own business for a while or entrepreneurship? I mean, really, I'd say, I mean, it's kind of, it's your own self-accomplishment at that point. I mean, to, to get the degree, I don't think schooling wise, they're going to teach much of what's going on with the way the internet changes. They're probably teaching them content that's been done for, you know, years on end, 10, 20 years past. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, the, the, the style of and where marketing's going, I don't think a degree is really going to make that much of a difference. I mean, but, you know, definitely if you want the accomplishment of saying, yes, I have a degree, then, yeah, definitely go for it. Um, but as in my honest opinion, I don't think it's necessary. Right. It's not, not going to hurt, you know. No, well, it's not my money. It's the GI Bill. I got to go burn it on something. Why let it go to waste after these 26 years? Yeah, I would do. Yeah, I would do something if you wanted to do something that's going to expand. I would say either um, doing it in communications or um, or languages. Okay. You know, something that will that will actually allow you to use that skill because I think marketing degrees they're going to be generalized and it's going to be a lot of projections. You know, as far as where's this trend going, where's that trend going, type of thing, mm -hmm. which may or may not help you in your business. But if you work on like say communications, you learn, you know, PR spins, you learn, you learn more on, uh, you know, how to communicate in different right. levels, writing in different styles, you know, those type of communication aspects that will help you in your marketing more so than, you know, a marketing degree that teaches you how to look at market trends because anybody can find market trends and there's experts already doing it. Right, so, right. To, to go to school for it, to just to learn what, you know, a thousand other people are already doing doesn't really help you much. No, it really doesn't. That's what I was telling my wife. My wife's from Germany, and I was, like, saying, you know, pretty much they, 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 they decide, the government decide what schools they want you to go, go to or, or will offer you, but that has nothing to do with education. So. Yeah, definitely. It's just find domain. I don't. It's a, I can just put in no thanks. Find domain name for your blog and connect it instantly. I can do that later. So I just hit no thanks, because then they want you to pay for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. They'll okay. try to. They'll try to get you to your domain once you've actually created the blog. Um, you can go into. I want to say it's settings, and you can add a domain that you already own. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, oh, yeah, I see. All right, so, uh, so, okay. So now I'm back to where the overview is. Yeah, so this is where you'll start. I mean, just go into new posts. Um, if you're inside the MSI concept, you can watch the blogger training. Um, there's plenty on my YouTube, especially with making uh, posts of different types, making banners, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw you training in LSN. I said, wait a minute, you know what? All I got to do is go back to what I already have because I already paid for all this stuff. Yep. My, my question really was the darn variable, and then I just say step one, do this. Step two, do that. And the only thing you would want the username to change on is is really open jacket. Other than that, you don't want to mess with it at all. Yeah. Okay. You thought it was going to be complicated, didn't you? No, trust me. I'm, I'm uh, there hasn't been anything that's been complicated yet for me. Well, no, I knew it wouldn't be complicated. The um, When you made your capture page, how did you put all the buttons on there and link it? Now, that looks complicated. With the uh, with my main page? Yep. It's uh, through the drag and drop editor. It's a, it's a menu page. It's a navigation menu. You have to create a navigation menu. 
it takes a little bit of time to put together. I, I hate having to rebuild it when I change stuff because it doesn't let you edit it once you make it. Uh, right. So you have to make it each time. So it, but now that I've done it like probably 13 different times, it takes me like two minutes. So the drag and drop editor is actually the way to go because it doesn't matter whether you're at, let's just say you were messing with WordPress or you're just dealing with any of them. The drag and drop editors, once you know the icons and how it works, it doesn't matter what system it's in. They're all the same. Yeah. Basically. Okay. So I built, I built um, my funnel entirely through the drag and drop. Um, I had other pages before, but then I rebuilt them all. And they're now all, all of these were all created by the drag and drop editor. Okay. Sounds good. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning. Um, what's the shortcut to the, to MSI instead of going, it keep I keep going right back to the main uh, capture screen and I'll just go in there and I'll just watch the training. Cause I was watching your training on YouTube. I said, well, there's a way around everything. Just go to YouTube. Yeah. Um, if you want to get straight into the actual system, um, if you end up on msimind.com, you can click on this MSI concept. It will okay. take you to the front system where you can log in. Okay. Um, yeah. Or that, um, or you will have, once you get inside the MSI concept, you always have your link right here. Right. You can always use that link. It'll take you to your main page and you can log in from there as well. See, little, 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 little stuff. Okay. So there's a lot of, lot of different ways to get to everything. So I just say in, in set, inside step one, I just say, um, well, like my click here, like your click here, takes them right to open jacket. I figured out how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just put whatever other steps I want underneath it. Yep. Hey, if you can, um, if you can just sh send me that screenshot, I'm good. Cause I'm not going to copy what you did. I'm just going to do what I want them to do. But that was really what I needed. Well, yeah, y'all have this whole video. It's all recorded. Okay. That sounds cool. Too easy. Yep. I'm good. You thought, I told you it only take about 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, it I, I mean, it takes that long. I mean, especially for somebody that already has a system, they've at least got in there and seen Right. We think um, they're usually less than an hour. Lynetta took so long because she hasn't really done anything with technology. Well, you know what? I work on trucks. I really don't mess with technology too much. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean I, you've already been through MLSP. You've already gone into LSN. You at least have seen it. She'd never seen any of this kind of stuff before. Okay. Oh, I did. You know what? I did. I did realize I do have another problem. Yeah. The other problem I was having was with my um, – Updating the information on my main page, like your MSI that's, that popped up, I cannot change my phone number. Every time I go in there and try, it will not let me. On this particular page? Um, no, on the capture page or the create page. And then on the create page? Right. On your system? On my system. So when you're in the create page, you have to change it from here, from customize. Oh, so everything's, yeah. everything's in there. It's going to pull from, so you're looking at that. So this, I changed it out. Right. It won't let me change that. I go to that same section and, and it will not let me do anything. Yeah. You have to edit it manually. You have to use HTML to edit that. Um, so I'll show you when you, the easy way to do it, once you've created your blogger, go to blog, a blog post. It'll make it 10 times easier for you to write HTML, write exactly what you want in there and then click on HTML, copy all of that and paste it into that section. You'll paste oh. it into this section. Okay. And that it that'll save you time from actually having to try and write it all in HTML. I just was trying to type my name in there and it wouldn't work. I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah, because it has to be in HTML. Oh, uh, okay. So you can't just type it in there. So this all of this right here is written in HTML. Okay. Um and then the I'll just keep playing with the background. I I, I was I, I had issues with that too. Gotcha. 
Um, I went there and then I went to create page. I went change. And every time I stick a YouTube, uh, yeah, well, you use the source code. If you use the embed code, it works much better to change the background or the video no, to change the video. The background is just the image. This is the background. It will not let every time I do that and save it, nothing happens. Are you using a PNG? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I, I would probably put a support ticket on that one then. Okay. Cause it should, it should be coming up. Okay. Well that, well that was easy. Yeah. I didn't change my background, but the video on the right side, I'll, I'll edit it with HTML. So that's why I, I, I did the H, uh, the embed cause I wanted the video to play instantly. So that one, right, right. that embeds better for you. And then this is all HTML written. Um, cause I hyperlink this, this also goes back to the Facebook page. Okay. So everything's all connected with mine. Okay. Sounds good. Give me something to play with. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely uh, have the recording up on YouTube. I'll shoot you the link once it gets rendered. Okay. All right. Let me know All if right. you have any other questions. Well, I, I, I will, but it'll be a while. You know All what right. I mean? I'm one of those, if I can't ask David and he don't know, then I have to ask you. <laughs> Tyson doesn't want me to ask you. He doesn't want me to ask him because he wants me to ask you, which makes you the expert, which makes you teach me, which makes me the expert. Yep. And then that makes us more all more popular. <laughs> all right. I'm good for now. All right.